Welcome back to you. Now, in this episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about how flexible working can actually bring about improved productivity communications and won't necessarily cause more headache than benefits. Now, it's been reported, and certainly from my experience um, in talking to a lot of business owners and team heads in the last year, that top on both existing and potential new employees' wish lists um, is really where you work and when you work, particularly in white collar firms. Now, we looked at this in the previous episode in a little bit more detail, but there are far bigger pools of candidates geographically within the workforce um, if you're offering flexible terms and locations. And when it comes to optimising performance, it's key to ensuring that we're really in our best working environments to give our best selves. So as a business owner, you want wellness in the workplace, high motivation, energy levels and creativity. For some employees, their best environment isn't always in the head office, uh, with varying personalities, individual requirements and circumstances. Some people just can't give 100%, 100% in these situations, uh, but give them flexible remote working possibilities and they could really excel. Um, some functions lend themselves well to remote or office-based environments. Uh, different contract hours could be flexed. Um, and, and really enable best performance. So fi- things like finance, sales, HR, IT communications functions, teams and businesses can often be really effective if they're based remotely. And by their very nature, um, some are very client facing anyway and often spend a lot of time away from um, head office. So it could also be the case that you're considering moving your entire team or business and possibly several different functions or Uh, a couple of employees within your team to hybrid working. You might be considering moves to home working or co-working or a flexible workspace, um, and it might be full-time or part-time or a hybrid mix. But you're still concerned about that possible decline in productivity and performance as a result of possibly lack of transparency in communications. Well, I, I completely get that. I understand that. And there can be doubts over unreliable poor Wi-Fi networks, um, connections, working from home, for example, distractions, but a lot of these can be overcome by using some simple measures. And it doesn't have to be the case. So for me, the most important aspect in all of this is sustainability and the flexibility for you and your team and being in in the best environments to give their best um, and really be able to flow with the changing situations with, let's face it, are often thrown at us these days. Um, wherever we're based. So with huge advancements in technology and apps and infrastructure at the moment in the workplace, there's now a real variety of software and support to link everyone together, be it scheduling and hosting meetings, um, real-time chat, conferencing and online co-working platforms for teams that they could use um, for different projects or different times of day, for example, and still work together remotely. So it goes without saying that if teams um, based remotely They do need some sort of structure, um, regular and scheduled communications and meetups, as well as really clear, open two-way lines of communication. That that is critical, but there's lots of ways around there and a lot of support um, out there at the moment to help you with that sort of thing. And it doesn't cost the earth and it's very simple to use. Um, If employees are using flexible office workspaces, co-working spaces, then these really have great infrastructure, really reliable, strong Wi-Fi, um, meeting rooms, privacy, security, and it's often the case that performance and output is increased because they have more focus times and less distractions by co-workers around them. They're also going to be at their best because they're more relaxed in a more relaxed environment. So in fact, a hybrid workforce um, mix can often lead to streamlining sorry streamlining centralizing communications and platforms in a really structured way so that it cuts out those excess meetings um, but transparency and open lines of communications are always vital with remote working obviously as for sickness and absenteeism um, post covid reports are really suggesting that remote workers have less time off and they're actually happier better well-being and more highly motivated they have an increased sense of being valued and really appreciated. And they actually more, are more willing to contribute um, ideas because they that more of a sense of a feeling of independence and responsibility. 
So in the next episode, I'll be looking at some of the factors you need to consider before going hybrid. And don't forget, if you're really interested in this and would like to learn a bit more from myself, um, get some more guidance, I do offer strategy sessions and power hours. And you can contact me via the website on that, thehubnury.com. Um, so keep in touch and I look forward to the next episode soon. Have a wonderful day.